What's up, people? Uh, it seems as if the uh, Perico Heist can be done solo. So that's what you'll be seeing today. That's what I'll be showing y'all. So stay tuned. Everybody talking that ish about what they got But what they got is little to nothing I wish they stopped Stop. I'm never limited to getting that guap So I'm wishing to be me But they not You not What's me. up people, it's your boy Power, love, self, or die Coming at you with this GTA 5 online And remember, if you're in a session And you see the power, love, or a license plate Then you know that's me So what you wanna do, you wanna get this money Or do you want beef And with that being said Let me get on with this Perico Heights as you can see, I got to the island. I changed my clothes. Snuck up, hit him, boom. Uh, I just put it in a little faster speed so we can hurry up and uh, get this over with. But you can see the clothes right there. So for people who first time doing the heist, keep in mind, man, that you want to get it done. You want to see it real fast. So you might miss some things the first time. But the second time, you know, you get a chance to look and dig and see where a lot of the spots at and see what you can use for the heist. I did as much as I could and you know I end up getting the clothes and all that so that was cool for me to go ahead and do this heist solo you know what I'm saying now I got a crew that I'm wanting to do the heist with but uh, my crew is tied up they doing their thing trying to get the thing started I'm trying to do it everybody's trying to do this heist today and I just had to get my hands on it and figure it out myself. I didn't want to get no answers from nobody. I didn't want nobody to tell me nothing. I didn't want no YouTuber to show me. I just wanted to do it myself. But uh, as you see, I'm sneaking up on them. I'm doing the same stuff that I did in other hikes. The alert and their awareness is the same. And that's very important, people. Very important to know that the alert and their awareness is the same. Now, the open space is different because you in open space. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's more easier to get caught. There's not a lot of things to hide behind unless it's the jungle or the bushes, the trees, whatever. And that's not bad because I did some hiding in those trees. I can't say that there's not a lot to hide from. But I get here, man. My, my, my object was to eliminate everybody in the area so I could just, you know, get the uh, taken. I, I believe, if I'm right, it was uh, marijuana and coke here. I end up uh, finding those along the way. I found some pliers, which I'm ready to grab right now. And keep in mind, y'all, once you change your clothes, you is pretty smooth. You're okay as long as you don't do nothing crazy like crash or try to speed through there they're not even bothering me really they're not I'm just still being cautious because that's what it is I'm I'm used to trying to be cautious and sneak around when it come to these heights you know what I'm saying um I waited for him to come back in I didn't want to rush and go get the, the product and then he come in and see me but the first time I did it, y'all, I had a, a bomb, and that alerted them. So I, that's why I went and grabbed the uh, cutters. And look how he's putting it in the bag. One of my crew members said, I wish we could just shove it in the bag instead of getting one by one. And look how he's putting it in the bag. He grabbing it, shoving that joint in the bag. Ain't no one by one. So I like that part about this heist. I like that. There's a lot of things that I like about this Perico heist and the way they set it up. I mean, what, what what's going on now makes up for the free roam. I'm not, the free roam isn't really bothering me that we can't free roam on the island. You know what I'm saying? I think it's pretty cool the way it is. Now, it would be, the, it would be cool to have free roam though, but it ain't like you can do too much hiding. So it'll just be a war zone right there, you know. I mean, you can't really do too much hiding. It's not it's not like a city, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just wide open. As you can see, I looked in there. I believe those was bricks of cocaine or dope or whatever. But it looked like bricks of bricks of cocaine. So I was like, I remember getting that doing the setups 
I remember, you know, choosing that during the setups. And the setups is decent too, man. I mean, I really, I'm, I think that the Perico heist is, has lived up to the hype. Now, there's going to be some complainers out there and some people say, oh, it's not free roam, blah, blah, blah. It's free roam when you get there, though. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it ain't that. I, I can't say it's really that much of free roam because once you touch that island, that island deals with all heist stuff. So it ain't like you could call, you can call your uh, oppressor or any cars or nothing. You can't do that. Once you're there, it goes into a heist mode. Now, I went and grabbed all I could grab, and I couldn't grab no more. Now, next time I know to just grab those and try to grab something with more valuable than the other things, the other stuff that I grab. But that's here nor there, man. Okay, it's two circles. When I pulled up to the jump, I didn't know what these two circles was. I truly didn't, but at the end, I think it had asked me what scenario did I want to go in the front door, and I, I believe it was two of them. That's why they had the two circles. As you know, I blindly chose the bomb because I wanted to be sneaky and silent. That's more of what I wanted to do. I really wanted to be sneaky and silent, but uh, I couldn't get that. You know what I'm saying? So I end up getting the bomb. So I go in. I did fairly well. I got shot a few times. But uh, I did fairly well going in to uh, his uh, lair or whatever you want to call it. The, the dude's lair. Um, didn't see him to the end. But... There was a that now I want to say this too. There was a lot of enemies, okay? But I guess by the way I done it, they wasn't coming to me all at once. They was coming to get me. Like two coming, then one would come, then two would come, then three would be chilling somewhere waiting for one to go. You know, it was kind of mixed up. I go in here, I get the card. I grab the car because I want this moolah because I'm sitting there like that's all I got. Now, this is a new finger fingerprint scan jump. And I think this is decent. It's not really hard. I think it's I think it's it's decent, though. I think after you do it a few times, you'll be able to see the pieces that go with what, you know, go with the uh, thumbprint and you'll be able to get it. But I had messed up a couple times and I didn't keep what I messed up, I just wanted to show y'all the right way to get it done. And keep in mind, once you line them up right with that, it'll do it itself. So you don't have to hit Y to check it or Y, you know. Once that matches that thumbprint, it's going to do it itself. So that was something that I liked about it. Uh, you know, it's GTA 5 Online, man. It's GTA 5 Online. And I don't think you could compare the other games to it. I don't care how great your graphics is and all that. Man, people bum rush the show. Meaning people bum rush this uh, Cayo Perico heist, man. They bum rushed it and it is something that they only wanted to do. I mean, I downloaded it at 5 o'clock in the morning. You know, by the time it got done, it was like 5.25. I didn't stop playing this today. Till what time it is? Five now? It's like three o'clock, two thirty. I was getting it in. Okay, so now I go down to a secret uh, underground, and yo, there was a, a a place when I came in that yard. I don't know if y'all remember, but if you go back and watch this video again, that cage was open, and in that cage, it was a panther in that cage. So I was expecting to see the panther, you know come out of anywhere so but it didn't maybe in a different setup the panther be out there waiting uh guy gave me the code i cracked the code on the safe and uh i thought i was gonna go in there and start grabbing handfuls but i went in there and grabbed this little thing 
I guess it had evidence on it. And that was it. I mean, that there was a lot of enemies. Now, when I was leaving up, I got killed a couple times. Don't think that you just gonna run up in there and then run back out without without it happening. Cause I don't care how good you is, it's gonna happen. And what I mean, what I'm saying, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get that that uh you're gonna get killed. It's just gonna happen. I wish that car opened up. I would have drove that right out of there, there, pimp. Yes, I would have. I like this part right here because I was beating on the door, beating, kicking. And it has an exit on it. <laughs> but yeah, people, I mean, smart thing to do is when you come out of there, hide. Because they come in deep. And, and, and it ain't that they come in deep. Put it this way. It wasn't that they come in deep. They just consistent. That's all. They, they was consistent. And I wanted to make sure I killed those that was in front of me. Then me go out there and ride while they shooting me. And you die fast out here in uh, Cayo Perico. You will die fast. I tried to bust through, but that ain't work. He's shooting the money out of me that I don't remember collecting. I thought it was marijuana. Maybe it was money. Uh, uh, uh. I tell you what, man, this was great. You know, I had a good time today playing this. And I, I think I, I know I'm going to play it again. I mean, I got some partners and we want to do it as a team because what I saw was the, uh, the takes. And it said, it said, uh, what you could have took. And it was. 5.4 million. You could have took 5.4 million. That was serious, yo. That's a lot of money. That's the most made on any heist that I know since I've been playing this, honestly. Oh, come on, kid. Back up out of there. And I got away. And what you do once you get here, you just keep you take your boat north. Well, that's what it had for me. I just kept my boat going north. And it ended, and I end up here. But listen, it was fun. It was cool. It was worth it. It was what the hype it was. You know, I didn't expect a lot anyway. I didn't. I, I mean, I did expect a lot, but I didn't expect it for us to have like the free roam and all that back and forth because it, when I looked at the open space, this, it was just an open space. Like how we gonna defend ourselves and fight with an open space? There was a couple buildings and shacks over there on the island, but it was basically island, you know? So people, I hope you enjoy. I hope you got something out of the video. This is the Cayo Perico Heist solo. As you can see, it wasn't that it was hard. It was just that it was brand new to me. So a couple of the things I got surprised with made the heist longer. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't, you know, that it was real super hard or nothing. I just, it was just new to me. And I was just feeling my way out, trying to figure some things out. And, uh, once again, people, whether you do a solo or with your team, it's a pretty darn good heist. I liked it. Uh, I think it lives up to the hype, man. It truly, it truly does. This your boy, Power Love Self or Die. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And you know I keep the content that's fly for your eye. I'm signing out. Peace, power, and respect. I'll see you on the next one. Everybody talking that ish about what they got, but what they got is little to nothing. I wish they stopped. Stop. I'm never limited to getting that guap, so I'm wishing to be me, but they not. You not me.